talk to you about a subject that is not very glamorous at all. In fact, I prefer not to talk about it at all, but I have to deal with, with it. And that is greying hair, greying hair, greying hair, greying hair. Um, so basically, I just said on Snapchat today as well, that I kind of like to talk on YouTube about things that are occurring in my own day-to-day -day life. So like a few weeks ago, I was really suffering with dehydrated skin. Now currently, I'm suffering with a lot of grey hairs. Um, and I just want to talk to you about it and tell you what I've learned and products that I've used to try and conceal grey hairs. Um, so yeah, I have suffered from grey hairs for the past... I'm 28 and I started getting grey hairs... I was in my 20s. I would say I was even 19, I think, when I spotted my first hair. You don't have to be old to have grey hair. And another few things that I want to point out about grey hairs is that your hair doesn't turn grey. Um, your hair grows grey. So you don't, like, go to bed one night and wake up the next day and you see grey hairs. Grey hairs grow over time. And the reason you get grey hairs is because of a lack of melanin in your hair follicles. Um, melanin is like the colour pigment in your hair and in your eyes and things like that. It goes right down to DNA and genes and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to delve into all the kind of boring things because I just want to basically tell you about the products that I've used to kind of conceal my grey hairs. But just a little bit of background of grey hairs, that's what you're lacking. If you have grey hairs you're lacking melanin and it's just kind of your body slowing down in production of it. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. It is, it can be hereditary. Um, it's not completely hereditary and in the genes and stuff, but if your mother or father does have grey hair, you're you're more more likely to develop grey hair also. Um, it can be lack of vitamins, it can be um, just aging, smoking, environmental issues, they can all um, enhance grey hair or speed up the aging process in general, which is why you get grey hairs as well. It's aging, it's your body kind of starting to slow down and it's lack of melanin in your hair follicle. And then some common myths about grey hairs is that stress causes grey hairs. Stress doesn't cause grey hair, like for instance actually the Obama thing and I think in America they do it a lot, they compare like when a president first starts standing um, they take before and after pictures and compare how much the man is aged, or woman, sorry, but I just mean man because of Obama. Um, and, like, obviously they've gotten older in that time, but a lot of people kind of do this, the president thing, to show how you, grey you go because of stress. Stress doesn't actually cause grey hairs, it contributes to it. It doesn't actually cause it, but it definitely contributes to it. Because when you're stressed out, your, act your hair actually falls out. It's not that when you're stressed, your hair goes grey. Your hair actually falls out, and when it does grow again, it may grow... It, your new follicle might have less melanin in it. So it's not that you're getting grey hair because you're stressed, but it does contribute to it. Um, another thing, a huge one, I don't know if this is just in Ireland, and I'm sure it's not, but a huge myth that people definitely, definitely still believe is that if you pull one grey hair, four more uh, grow back, or two more, or seven, whatever the number is, that m more and more will grow back in its place. That's also a myth. I'm sure you're happy to hear that, but it is a myth. Um, I've looked into it and there's been research done into this because it's such a widely known uh, myth or widely known comment that people make about grey gray hairs, not to pluck it because four more will grow. Um, it's not true. Like you have one follicle and if you pull that, the hair is gone. Now, the thing about that, if you do pull it, it can grow back puby. <laughs> Sorry to have to put it like that, but it can grow back curly and wispy and stuff. So sometimes, depending, if you really, really want to fight the urge and leave it, that's fine. But if you really can't give in to and you do pluck it, it may grow back kind of curly and more obvious. So that's the only thing about plucking them. But they don't grow back like doubly if you pluck one. <laughs> and another quick fact is 50-50-50. Apparently 50% 50 of the population will have 50% of grey hair by the time they're 50. Another little fact. I was like googling myths and just bullet points and stuff about grey hair and I thought that was quite intriguing as well. Looking forward to hitting 50. Um, I'm not sure really if there's any preventative measures you can um, do to prevent grey hairs because like I said it is down to your genes. Um, maybe perhaps lack of vitamins and stuff so if you want to get more I think it's B12 in your diet. Um, B12 is also a common factor of developing grey hairs. B12 and vitamin C I think it is. Um, yeah I'm See, if there was something that prevents grey hairs, it would be on the market, everyone would be buying it. But there's a lot of research being done still. So until the research comes out with some wonder product, I'm going to share with you some of the quick tricks I have learned and the products that I use to conceal grey hairs very, very fast. Obviously, the first, number one, is to dye your hair. Now, some people are reluctant to start dyeing their hair because when you start dyeing your hair, you can't turn back. Well, you can turn back, but you won't want to because 
We want to keep it maintenance and hide the grey hairs. I dye my hair anyway. That's another myth about grey hairs. People say that if you're dyeing your hair too much, it'll make your hair go grey. That's also a myth. Um, my parents did tell me that. My mother, even still to this day, tells me that I have grey hairs because I've dyed my hair so much. Ma'am, you're wrong. You're mistaken. That's a myth. Um, so yeah, number one is to dye your hair. Now, you'll probably have to get a permanent dye because a lot of the semi semi-permanent or temporary dyes won't conceal grey hair. Um, so you probably will need a specific... It usually says that on the permanent hair dyes, um, grey coverage, 99% or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, number one is dyeing your hair. And the next few things are products that I've been using because I'm actually waiting on an order of my hair dye. I wish it would come because it's driving me mad and I want to conceal my greys. Um, but yeah, I don't want to dye my hair with a box dye in between. So I've been just temporarily concealing my grey hairs and I'm going to show you the products that I've been using. Okay, so the first product I'm going to show you is a mascara. Mascara is just a very quick tip. Um, obviously very fast, temporary and if you're anyway into beauty, probably you have a mascara anyway. Um, I did do video clips of these, so I'm not sure if you could actually pick up the grey hair in the camera. I assure you, I have grey hair and it's very obvious because I have dark hair, which is very annoying. But if I had the clips, I'd insert them there in a few minutes. But the first one anyway is mascara. Um, simple, like I have, a, this is actually a brow, a brow, uh, mascara, brow gel brow styling gel because I didn't actually have a brown mascara to hand. Now black does as well but just to suit my hair a little bit more because my hair is kind of dyed red at the moment so brown suits it better. Um, it's very fast, very easy. The one thing about a mascara though it might leave, because it's kind of a, like a mascara is a liquid it kind of will leave a bit of a residue so I like using a mascara when my hair is back rather than using it when it's down. It might be a little bit noticeable so I love using this um, when my hair is tied back because it sleeks it back and conceals the grey. <laughs> Kind of one that's easier to use when my hair is down it's a brown eyeshadow um the one i just happen to use is the one for, uh, one from the naked smoky palette because it's kind of a dark brown but it has that tint of red and because my hair is red at the moment it just suited it better so an eyeshadow it basically the same thing just pop it on it'll temporarily conceal the grayness um i prefer using a shadow when my hair is down because you don't have to worry about it being sticky or looking greasy like mascara would. The powder is dry so you can just apply it to your little greys and hey presto, they're concealed for the day. is the newest product I literally only bought last week. I've never tried a product like this, product like this before. And this is the L'Oreal Magic Retouch. This is basically a spray that has a temporary color pigment in it and you spray and it conceals. It's basically, basically like, do you know like a spray that you'd use like when you were a kid for Halloween, you can spray hair different colors like purple and pink and crazy colors. But this is just a brown version of it. Obviously, I'm red here, so I got brown. This is available, I got it in Boots. It's currently on offer if you're interested. Now, full price, I think this is about 12 euro, which is kind of annoying because you probably buy a hair dye for 12 euro if you do box dye, but I don't want to box dye, so this was just ideal for me. I can't believe how well this worked. I picked this up completely in a whim, just saying, well, I'll just try it just to see. I thought it would be sticky and streaky and obvious. Um, they didn't have a red shade, so I went for the dark brown. Lads, this works wonders. Um, if you don't want to pay the 12 euro, I'm pretty sure Baptiste do a dark brown. Again, I'm talking about brown because I have brown hair, but they do blonde as well. Uh, dry shampoo, would they have a bit of colour pigment in them as well? So I'm sure they'd probably temporarily conceal greys as well. But they're such a brilliant idea. It's so fast. And again, this kind of, it's not sticky. It doesn't look wet. This kind of acts, acts like a dry shampoo, but it has more pigment than the dry shampoo. Um, temporary grey coverage lasts until shampooed out. It's brilliant. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I quickly spray it into the lid so you can kind of see. It has this nozzle so you can be a bit more um, direct or have a bit of direction with it. Now, you don't want, don't want to spray it too like, close to the roots. It's like a hairspray. Zoop, and that's it. Um, so you can see in the lid there, it is quite pigmented. It works wonders. Um, I got a bit in my forehead and it just washes off with water, soapy water. 
it's brilliant. It's so, so handy. I'll definitely be restocking on these because they're just such a handy thing to have and you can pop it in your bag, whatever, if you're going out, if you're very worried about your grey hairs. grey hair coverage routine because like I said I'm waiting for my hair dye to come and it's so annoying like because I have dark hair it's so much more obvious those of you who are blonde are so lucky because it's much easier to conceal and you probably can't even see if you do have grey hair um, apparently Caucasian people like white people go grey the fastest um, typical and apparently people with red hair even more so get uh, start growing grey hair as much faster than people with other colour hairs so us Irish are way out of luck in that front <laughs> so there you go those are the three quick products that I've been using to temporarily conceal my grey hairs um, I don't think I've anything else really to say, share but I kind of did want to share those because I never even thought of using a powder like you can buy powder products of these like they're actually marketed as powder Hair, they're marketed as ha hair powders but you're paying 12, 13 euro for those kind of things and I'm sure you probably have a brown eyeshadow in your makeup collection anyway so it's the exact same thing but I really really do love this there's other brands that do these as well but I haven't tried them I just happened to pick this one up because it was an offer so there you go there is my grey skincare grey skincare, grey hair care routine. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any tips, make sure to leave them below so everyone else can check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.